What's up YouTube, Pokemon Gym Hero, and today in this video, these are going to be my PSA send-off. I got 16 cards here, um, not that big of a send-off, but everything I send off, I try to get 9s or better. Um, I'm really hoping that majority of these get 10s. I say if at least 8 or more of these get 10s, I will be very satisfied, um, but there's some heat in here, so I'm going to go ahead and... Go through these cards real quick with you, show you what I'm sending off. It's going to be a 30 business day um, turnaround, so it'll be roughly a month, maybe less if they're not too busy before I get these back, but I cannot wait. As you can see, off the top, we're just going to go through these. Here we go. Off the top, we got a Latios Gold Star. Very beautiful card. Now, however, it is off-centered, as you can see. Um, that this that little white mark yeah, I was gonna say that's from the case so but anyways um, it's off-centered does have a little nick right here here um, there's like maybe another nick over here somewhere but other than that I'm hoping and looking at this card to get an 8 so and with an 8 I am very happy and look at that swirl up there that's beautiful all right Next up, we got Base Set Charizard. Um, this card's hollow is very clean, but there is some silvering. And then um, on the back, there's, see, um, there's some stuff from the case. I mean, it looks good. I want to say it's going to get a nine. I want, there's a little nick here, but there is some silvering, and the, the, the hollow looks clean, though. So um, I'm going to say it gets a nine, but if it gets an eight... I'll be very surprised. I know in the beginning of the video I tried to get nines, but this one, it's okay if I get an eight. If it gets a nine, that'll be insane. If it gets an eight, that's okay. And this one, if it gets an eight, I'll deal with it too, but I'm hoping it's a nine. I think those are the two most probably suspect cards I'd say in this end off. Everything else should be solid nines or tens, so. Here we go. Next up, Flareon. Got two swirls. Look at that double swirl action. This card is simply beautiful. I mean, perfect. Like, centering is on. No nicks. And it's just beautiful. No scratches on the hollow. So, I am hoping this gets a 10 with the double swirl. That would just be amazing. All right. Moving right along, we got a Crystal Ho-Ho. There's very, very light scratches on the front. Very, very light. So that's the only thing I see knocking this to a 9. But besides that, this card is perfect. So I'm aiming for the 10. Hopefully I get a generous grader and they don't dock me for these very light scratches. I mean, they're so light. But beautiful card. Hoping that gets a 10 for sure. Both of those would be beautiful. I'm getting so into the Sky Ridge set. So next up, we got a Shining Legend Groudon. Pulled this myself. Looks great. Got some nick up here. But I don't know if that's factory. More than likely, I say it's factory. Two factory. I wouldn't say it's a nick. So, I mean, this card looks really good too. Very hard for me not to say it's a 10. So... But we will see. I'm not a professional grader, but beautiful card. Next up, I also pulled this myself. Um, Shining Legend Deoxys from Call of Legends. So this one, I think this is going to get a 9. Um, I'm going to pray for a 10, but the Groudon looked more like a 10 to me. So, But this card is beautiful too, none the least. Next up, I already have one of these in a PSA 10, but it is not first edition. So this time it's going to be sending off the first edition. Look at the swirl back there. We're going to be sending off first edition. Oh my gosh, that's such a big swirl. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. This is going to be first edition Blaine's Charizard. This card is perfect. Like, the only way... I say they dock it is centering but it's not even off center like that 
for you to dock it. So I'm praying this comes back a 10. I mean, the other one I sent off was an unlimited one and it pulled a 10. So hopefully this follows suit. Next up, uh, Espeon EX. This does have some light scratches on it. Um, very light though. Um, the back is very clean though. I do not see any nicks, except maybe right here, but it's so like right there, you could see it just barely, but it's not that noticeable. But this card is beautiful. I love Espeon, I love Umbreon's. So favorite of the Evolutions. We'll see what happens. Unseen Forces has some amazing artwork. So this looks like a good 10 candidate. Could possibly get a nine. Next up, we got Rocket Scyther. I do think this will get a nine. Um, there's a little tiny, tiny nick down here, more noticeable than the um, Espeon, but this card looks amazing too. Really does. Without that nick, I would say this is an automatic 10, but very small nick. This card is beautiful. And this card, or these cards, EX Rockets in 10s are just worth so much money. So I'm really praying for that. Next up, we got Rocket Swing Coon uh, EX. This card is beautiful as well. Um, I would say it's a 9, but if it gets a 10, that would be amazing. Um, it has Factory, Nick, Factory, Nick. Other than that, there's no other Nicks. Might have a few light scratches, but and it might be a little off center. That's probably why it'll get the nine. So, but we're gonna push for that ten. If it gets that ten, that would just be amazing. Next up, this is the one I really want a ten in. Rockets Mewtwo. Um, look at that swirl back there. Um, this will be a beautiful card to get in a ten. Um, it looks great. Has a factory Nick right here. Other than that, this card seems to be on point. Maybe it's a little off-centered, but not much. So I'm really hoping at least one of these Rocket cards get a 10. If one of them get a 10, I'm cool with that. At least one of them, though. I would love to get a 10. Um, next up, we got Fire Red Leaf Green Nido King. This card is beautiful as well. There's a swirl down here. I'm sending in a lot of cards with swirls, and they're in just great condition. I mean, I'm almost to say this is an automatic 10, but I don't want to push it, you know, and assume anything, because you never know. So, but the only cards, like I said, I believe in here that are going to get anything less than a 9 is going to be that Charizard and that Latios. Other than that, all these cards should get 9 or 10s. Next up, pull this card myself, um, Espeon. It is non-hollow, but it is first edition, and it is beautiful. Um, so we're going to give it a shot. PSA 10 would be great. If it comes back at 9, I will be a little disappointed, but, I mean, PSA 10 would just be phenomenal. So, like I said, love Espeon, love Umbreon. Next up, we got uh, Raikou, Neo Rev. Another beautiful card. Look at the swirl down there. Just not even like you can't see it fully, but you you know that's a swirl. If it was up here, you would know that's a swirl. That is just amazing. Looks really great. Um, like I said, this this is just another beautiful card. It looks like a ten, but you just never know. It could pull a nine, but it looks like a ten. If it pulls a nine, I'd say because there's very light scratches. Other than that. That card is just amazing. Next up, uh, another Neo Rev Unlimited Ho Ho. Another beautiful card. I mean, this is just amazing. Perfect. I mean, there's no nicks. So, if anything, off center maybe. But we're going to see. I mean, it doesn't look that off center from the front, as you can see. So. Maybe this side over here to this side, but I don't know. We're, we're going to find out when I send it in. It just looks great. All these cards look great. And um, Tapu Lele Full Art. I mean, 
I'm pretty sure this is getting a 10. These cards are easier to grade. They're not older. The newer cards, they, they just come in amazing condition. So I'm almost positive this is going to get a 10. I sent in a DCE and the Hyper Rare Lele's, and it got 10. So I'm guaranteed this is going to be a 10. But the rest of them, I mean, they're just... There's there's at least six or seven of these that should be tens. But like I said, you never know. I'm not going to count them before they grade them. So. But those are my send-offs. So we got Tapu Lele Full Art. We got Ho-Ho, -Ho, Neo Rev Unlimited. Raikou, Neo Rev Unlimited. Espeon, First Edition, Neo Discovery. Nido King Hollow, Fire Red Leaf Green. Rockets Mewtwo, Team Rockets Returns, Rocket Suicune EX, Team Rocket Returns, Rocket Scyther EX, Team Rocket Returns, Unseen Forces, um, Espeon EX, Blaine's Charizard, Gym Challenge, First Edition, Shining Legend Deoxys, Call Legends, Shining Legend Groudon, Call Legends, Sky Ridge, Reverse Crystal Ho Ho, Sky Ridge, Flareon, Hollow, Base Set, Charizard, Unlimited, and EX Deoxys, Latios, Gold Star. So that is going to be my send off. Um, I will be shipping these out um, tomorrow, matter of fact. So uh, this video will be posted tomorrow. Um, I'm making it right now, but it will be posted tomorrow, and I will be headed to the post office to send all these off. So the quicker they get them, hopefully the quicker the grading process and the quicker we find out what these grades are. And as soon as I find out and I get them back, I will be making a PSA returns video and we'll go over everything. And I'm hoping, I'm sending 16, I say, I hope at least eight or more get tens. But if there's a couple big ones in here, like if Latios, got a 9, that would be amazing. Um, Flareon with a 10, Ho Ho with a 10, Charizard with a 10, any of the Team Rockets with a 10, like there's so much potential in here. So either way, I'm cool with whatever happens. I'm pretty sure. I, I think I grade the cards and I have a good eye for pre-grading. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my video, if you like seeing the PSA send-offs that I do, my pack openings, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Instagram at Pokemon Gym Hero. Um, thanks for watching. Pokemon Gym Hero.